Before I begin with the actual content of my speech, I would like to inform the audience that this speech contains information of sexual harassment. With that being said, I will now begin. Last December, Nina Jane Patel was sexually assaulted by several men as they surrounded her, touched her, and groped her body. She pleaded them for them to stop, but instead, they followed her, continuously making sexual advances. In her own words, she describes the experience a nightmare. But despite the trauma of the soul, nothing was reported to the police nor was any suit filed. Even though she saw her assailants' faces clearly, she wouldn't have been able to identify any of them in a lineup. How was this possible? It was because Nina Jean Patel's sexual assault didn't occur in the real world. It occurred in the metaverse. As a result, her assault wasn't considered valid and that's a problem. Victims of sexual assault in the metaverse are constantly raised and their violence is invisible to society that continues to justify the ongoing rates of such harassment. So today, I'll be talking about what exactly the metaverse is and the unique violence that occurs within it. Then, I'll discuss how division within public perception perpetuates such harassment and finally, offer some solutions. So what exactly is the metaverse? Despite the frenzy over it, many people still fail to realize what it truly is. The first image you might think of might be space avatars flying in a sci-fi fantasy, building things we can never do in reality. But a more technological description will be that the metaverse is a network of greedy virtual worlds focused on social connection. However, society oversimplifies the metaverse as the magical playground of the 21st century that makes the impossible only more possible. But the reason such oversimplification is a problem is because it makes people do things they would not nor should not do in the real world because the metaverse isn't reality. As a result, the more the fun comes, the more the danger comes with it, because this kind of violence didn't only happen to Nina Jean Patel. But still, many people tend on to question whether sexual harassment in the metaverse is really sexual harassment. After all, it's not actually happening. Jesse Fox, a professor at Ohio State, says that sexual harassment has never had to be a physical thing and that it can be a virtual experience as well. Catherine Cross, a researcher at the University of Washington, says that when virtual reality is immersive and real, so is the toxic behavior that occurs in such environment. The reason the metaverse is a virtual reality is because it's designed into tricking the brain into thinking that the user is inside some kind of physical reality. And that's also part of the reason why researcher Cross says that it triggers the same nervous system and psychological response. But the metaverse goes another step further, adds another layer of danger to it, having no people to report to, nor to regulate such crimes. The metaverse is still a new concept in our society, and even those who have heard of it largely misunderstand its purpose. So, the first step as to solving the sexual harassment in the metaverse issue is by knowing what exactly the metaverse is, rather than simply knowing it as the nothing impossible playground. And from there, acknowledging the fact that sexual harassment in the metaverse is the same sexual harassment as in the real world that can be considered a crime. So here comes the need for regulations for such crimes that occur in the metaverse. Though the meta law is yet to be enforced, as of such territory being profoundly controversial, the online safety bill had its second reading by the House of Commons on April 19th, 2022. The bill aims to ensure online systems have safety platforms in place that deal with illegal and harmful content. 
This allows the person behind a harassing avatar to be identified and for there to be no bars while applying laws in the metaverse. But still, the metaverse is a place that can be accessed by anyone from anywhere all around the world. It has no borders and problematically has no jurisdictions as well. Safety, ladies and gentlemen, should be easy and accessible. Thus, the need for regulations in the metaverse is needed now more than ever. When it comes to the metaverse, there's a great deal of new to experience, new to be curious about, process, grapple with, and regulate. Designed to be an extension of real life, the brave new virtual world is prone to transgression even more than the one that we currently inhabit. Avatar interactions that feel like real life human interactions in the real world bring added complexities which will require testings and no doubt changes to the law in the future. The metaverse is no longer something from sci-fi movies. It's here and it's undoubtedly developing fast. That being said, the need for regulations in the metaverse is growing by each passing day. Thank you for listening.